Shifting gears, the government of the Republic of China, Taiwan, is facilitating Mandarin language training for over 200 public officers. More in this report from Julita Peter. Mandarin is the official language of the Republic of China, Taiwan, making it the most dominant language in education, business and media. An overwhelming 200-plus public servants have applied through the Department of the Public Service Training Division to participate in the online program which commences on February 8, 2021. Mandarin instructor Ms. Ting Ting Lu, who is in St. Lucia, will be conducting the Mandarin training on behalf of the Taiwan International Cooperation and Development Fund. She said the course comprises three modules and will be taught at the basic and advanced levels. So also, besides the, uh, the language, the Mandarin language, of course, they, they will improve in the end, right? But I, would like, I also like to, um, to do some like cultural exchange, yes, because Taiwan is in Asia and it's far away from here, the Caribbean area. So I will introduce some like the culture of Taiwan, the festival or the lifestyles in Taiwan so that I, can, I want to help the learners understand more, get a better understanding of Taiwan. Yes. Okay. Over the years, a number of St. Lucian students have benefited from free education in Taiwan. Ambassador of the Republic of China, Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Chai Yan Shen, says his government is pleased to offer assistance to the government of St. Lucia in the area of capacity building. Uh, in terms of Mandarin, uh, I think um, Taiwan and St. Lucia are longtime friends and also uh, constructive uh, partners. Uh, we establish a lot of uh, projects that is really uh, good for the uh, benefit of uh, all solutions and in line with the national development of uh, St. Lucia government. And uh, besides that, uh, we want to uh, enhance a mutual understanding uh, between our two peoples. And for that, uh, most important is to know each other's culture, each other's uh, uh, philosophy. Permanent Secretary in the Department of the Public Service, Ms. Peggy Ann Sudat, has expressed gratitude to the government of the Republic of China, Taiwan, for making the delivery of the online Mandarin program possible. St. Lucians over many years have visited Taiwan for meetings, training, and cultural exchanges. Learning Mandarin will not only strengthen social and cultural exchanges, but will also help break language barriers. We have seen an overwhelming interest evident in the two, over 200 applications received thus far. I would like to take this opportunity to wish all participants well. Every year, the government of the Republic of China, Taiwan, hosts a cultural exchange workshop in Taiwan for public officers. However, the program had to be suspended last year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. From the Communications Unit of the Department of the Public Service, Julita Peter reporting.